Next guest has been caring for children and families since 1941. They help bridge the gap between hospital and home. Here to share more is Dr. Nick Holkamp from Rankin Jordan Pediatric Bridge Hospital. Dr. Holkamp, thank you for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Well, we love having you on the show because the mission of what you all do is really special. So for those that might not know, take us through Rankin Jordan. Well, Rankin Jordan is a bridge hospital. We're bridging the gap between the acute care hospital and home for children with complex medical conditions early in life after prematurity or complex congenital problems and then later in life kids after serious accidents injuries spinal cord injuries head injuries and the like where they need more time to heal and recover yeah. but they're not benefiting benefiting optimally from the acute care setting and what's remarkable about what you do is this isn't your typical hospital you don't walk in and see cold walls and it feels cold I mean this is warm this is this is fun it's fun and that's central to a child's existence in yeah. my opinion play is the main thing that helps children grow and develop and socialize and get stronger and heal if they've had issues to recover from so we make it a playful environment the staff is engaged fully in play we just created a new position called patient play associates oh who are there and paid just to engage children in developmentally appropriate play activities yeah how fun would that be first of all that position yeah. but also what I love about what you do is this is a message that you want to spread it says we value That's play right. and you're trying to tell the world why is that well, as I say, play is central to a child's recovery and development. Yeah. And uh, unfortunately, in acute care settings, when children are stuck there for long periods of time mm. because of their needs, play is not a big part of their lives. And yeah. we try to bring that back so that they can uh, start to learn and grow through what they would be doing at home if they could be at home. Yeah, and it really does make sense when you think about it. Think about just when you yourself are wanting to feel better, you go out and for a walk. You That's do something right. you enjoy, that shift that it has on you and your healing. Absolutely, and you mentioned the design and the space of the building. It's open, bright, colorful, cheerful, positive. There's a playground in the middle yeah. of the building. So when children and families get there, they understand right away, this is not a place to be sick. This is the place to get better. To get better, yeah. that's what this is all about. So. Dr. Holcamp, how can we support your mission? Well, the, uh, the easiest way is to get on the website, yeah. rankinjordan.org. There's a, an easy way to donate there. There's an opportunity to sign up as a volunteer. Uh, I have a blog uh, every month yeah. uh, for people to learn a little bit more about it that way. I did a TED talk, St. Louis, TEDx St. Louis talk not too long ago, uh, just to learn more about yeah. it, to get the word out because we're a little bit uh, uh, under the radar yeah. in St. Louis. Yeah, of course. Well, we want to help you get that word out. We value play. Right. I know I value play also the volunteer opportunities I bet that's a lot of fun that's too. right it is and um, and they've helped with the research we've done that shows that getting kids up and out yeah. is better than sitting in bed all day so yeah. uh, we, we value the, the the volunteers very highly as well remarkable well if you all are watching and you are feeling inspired and want to learn more there is that website rankinjordan.org you can learn more about how to support their mission and also check out some of those TED talks thank you again for joining us today